One of the very important issues that we're dealing with this year in the legislature and will be dealing with to even, even more so in 2011 is, is redistricting the House and Senate districts and the congressional districts. One of the things that we've heard a lot about is trying to make it fairer, trying to take the politics out of redistricting. This is something that's incredibly important to all of the people. We want the districts to be fairly drawn so that the people have a chance of electing uh, their desires to the legislature as, as opposed to being manipulated by the people who draw the maps. This, le this last week, we have dealt with legislation that would uh, affect how we draw the maps next year. I've been involved in this over the years and I know the politics that goes into it. We have an opportunity now to take the politics out of it. We don't have to wait for a constitutional amendment. We can do it and the, the legislature can adhere to law and draw a map that is not one that's drawn politically. And I think that's what all of the people want. They want fairness, they want the politics taken out of it, and not done behind closed doors as usual. So we worked on legislation uh, this week to try to do just that. The uh, uh, bill that was offered, Senate Bill 80, it was offered by uh, Senator Lawson, is supposed to be a bill dealing with uh, reform of, of reapportionment. But all it does is spell out in law what we already do and we've always done. We've done for the last two times that we re have redistricted. We have used those same uh, criteria. We want to do more than just list the criteria in a bill and then in that same bill have a section that says we don't have to apply this if we don't want to. So we want to be honest with the people. We want the people to know that we're drawing maps, or the maps are being drawn by people who are not involved in the political process. We can't take politics out of it entirely. You're never going to find a nonpartisan commission. But we can take it as far away from the legislative process as possible and get the legislative politics out of it. And that's what we were trying to do with an amendment that was offered by Senator Simpson this week.